Hey, what is up guys and welcome back to 3D Artist Pro. In today's video, we are going to be looking at the XGen editor for uh, creating hair for our character. So to get started, there are a few things you need to know about XGen. These, knowing these is going to save you a ton of headache down the road. So the first thing I want you to know is that when you want to start working with XGen, be sure that you created a project window. I did that when I started working on this project and these were all the things that were created. I can show you like this is the file path and this is all the project window. And this is the XGen tab. We are gonna need this because XGen is not saved inside of your scene. It's saved somewhere here and some other parts. So be sure to do that. And the second thing you're gonna wanna do is set your project, right? You need to make sure that the project is set to this file path as well, where the workspace is and just click set project. Okay, these are two very important things. I think people miss out on them and then they're wondering why their XGen isn't working. So be sure to do that. The second thing we are gonna need to know about is this. We are gonna be using the scalp workflow. Okay, because we don't want XGen to be appearing on all of her body, just need to, for, for it to be here on her uh, head and over here here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the uh, paint selection tool and we're gonna start by activating symmetry paint that now we go into face mode and paint that You can hit the B key and left mouse drag to uh, adjust the brush size. We're going to uh, duplicate these faces and need to unwrap them once more because when you want to start working with XGen, you got to make sure that you have least amount of seams possible. These are just precautions to you know help you better understand and avoid any headaches down the line. Okay, so we've got this uh, scalp. I'm gonna go into duplicate face. What it's gonna do is it's gonna duplicate these two parts. So we're not gonna create any offset. Just gonna unparent this by pressing Shift P and deleting history so this was the base mesh and this will be called scalp okay going back into the scalp we go into the UV editor and really simple just gonna project this like that and one more thing we're gonna want to do is I'm gonna get, switch this back into uh, Lambert because uh, XGen is kind of picky with regards to these things. I don't know why. It just prefers its uh, Maya's own materials instead of Arnold, Redshift, or any other ones that you're using. So uh, I found that applying the uh, Lambert material kind of uh, helps out in that regard. Now going into the UV editor, just gonna unwrap that and put that unwrap into the first tile or first urim or for whatever you want to call this. Okay, so there we go. Nice and clean. I'm gonna delete history on that. And now we are uh, ready to s start working on our XGen. Just be sure to not change the name of the scalp anymore or any XGen surface or 
be sure to not extrude any more faces when you're gonna start working with xgen you gotta make sure that you've done everything else and no more changes to your mesh are gonna occur okay because if you do that it's gonna break the xgen hair work and you're gonna be stuck wondering what did i just do and another free tip is that you see this button over here this button is the devil all right gonna middle mouse button drag it all the way to the end over here because this one sculpt guides is something we use a lot and this thing has murdered my scene more than once so I recommend all of you do that and just place it as far away from this button as possible okay so now we are set with setting up our extension scene and in the next video I'm gonna show you how we can start working with extension